Hi, I'm Adam Snow here at New Haven Farm and I'm going to demonstrate on this chalkboard one of my favorite drills to do with a stick and ball partner. Um, it's calling for back shots with the correct timing and it's, it's practicing calling quite late for a back shot. I believe for most of you you would feel it's late. Um, a common mistake that I find with um, some of the beginner players I'm working with is that I'll ask them to talk a little more and then I'll arrive at a back shot. Let's say I'm the black player here arriving at a back shot and you know four strides before I arrive to the ball I'll hear tail and I'm thinking one, two, three, geez everybody on the field knows it's going to be tail. Um, you know and so the timing of our ask is very important. Um, I played a lot of high goal polo with Owen Reinhardt. He was usually playing number three and I was playing number two and I felt one of our big strengths was being able to connect on our back shots and I think one of the reasons we were able to connect is, the, is this black arrow is Owen with a ball and he's going to back it. Basically it's either going to be a tail or an away back shot and it's my job to figure out um, where I can receive it um, in a free area and which way Owen can hit it um, unblocked. So there's a couple things I'm taking into account. Is Owen blocked by a defender here or here? In which case I'll have to ask it for the other side. And is the defender that's covering me here or here? And so those are things that I would need to take into account in a game situation. But for the purpose of this, of this drill, um, ask the person that's going to hit you the back shot as late as possible for the tail or, or away and I think it's really good to practice on how late we can change our swing because if we're um, waiting for the call till the last minute it really is not that difficult to change the mallet head and hit an away back shot if that's what the call is. Um, I usually practice it with with teammates saying, well, let's hit tail and let's call it away, but I may call you for a tail too. Um, that you can, you can devise your own plan and system with your teammates, um, but I think it's really valuable to work on calling as late as you can for that back shot. I know as somebody that's played a lot of number two, I'm trying to take everything into account and call just when they start their swing so that um, if I'm moving to that space, I trust that I can be first. The other thing you need to take in account, into account if you're the receiver is not giving away where you want to receive that ball. Um, if I'm going to receive a tail shot from the camera and I move over too early here, well the person covering me is going to know exactly what I'm going to call for. Two things have to happen for me to receive this ball without the defenders being plugged on us. One is that I need to be able to call for the back shot um, fairly late and not give away which, which direction I want it to go. And the other is that I need to move towards my teammate so that I can receive a nice short flat back shot with space. Too often I see um, players call early and players move you know, from 50 yards away from the ball in this direction to receive the ball. I'd, if, if this is a tail shot, I'd rather move here and move up the line and leave this defender with no play to mark me than, than be running straight parallel to the field to get on that back shot. So there's a lot going on, but I think for starters, just think about how late can we call each other to hit an away or a tail shot and how easily can I get on that tail shot or away shot I, I think it's a really valuable drill. I think transition from defense to offense is, is a key factor in, in any sport, and this is a way for us to work on it on the polo field. Take it forward once. Back shot. Away. There. So he's got to be waiting, waiting for that call. And I need to get, I need to hurry to be here. Think about which side I want it. Tail. And make him think about it. Away. Well done. You see how Lady changed that? Away. 
So the idea is that I'm arriving and now I'm just waiting for his call. So every team can de develop their own system for how they're going to call the back shots, but I think uh, the simplest way is uh, that tail is a back shot in that direction regardless of which side I hit this ball on, whether it's a near side or off side, and that is a way. And sort of open fundamental polo would be a lot of teams play with tail and less called away as a system. Um, but tail on the off side is obviously under horse's tail. Tail on the near side is counterintuitive, but it's out there just so that we don't have to guess which side our teammate is going to hit the back shot on. Away! That wasn't away even though it passed to the left side of me. Away! Well done! Away! Well hit. Too early, too early. You're gonna be covered on that one. Try to call me later. Tail! There you go. Tail! Well done! That's what we're trying to, trying to give you to work on and I think it makes a huge difference in being able to connect on your defensive transitions from defense to offense.